So Cam just caught these hands, and now we're gonna take our nice winter fit, take our talents elsewhere, um, which is pretty much just to the lake. We can finally go help out Barry, and we do have the ability to use a rock climb now. All right, so there's a we can go in here now. These guys just are like, oh, make your way on in here, buddy. You're here to see the lake Pokemon too. You must be bored to fight your way through the snow to get here. I must be bored. Man, you guys have just been sitting there kissing for so long, Barry. You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. <laughs> the characters. You finished already. You see, they, w they were doing some... ...sus stuff over here. You honestly thought you could save the Pokémon of the lake and become the Pokémon Champion? Dream on, little kid. Ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Velstone HQ. <laughs> Ew, huh? Um, so now we can actually do the headquarters part that we weren't able to do anything in before, so that's fun. Don't to know you, we met in Eternity City. Listen, Team Galactic's gonna do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our headquarters in Veilstone now, if you'll excuse me. See ya. Well, so, she says to not waste our time, but that's exactly what we're gonna do. Also, I just now am realizing that my the earmuffs go on, like, the back of my neck. What, what's up with the fit, bro? Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. Pokemon called the Uxie was suffering. Poor fella. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. It's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Yes, you do. Okay, so I love how all of the lake areas is just like the smallest bit of land and then it's just just nothing but lake. Um, we can actually surf there, which we can technically get a new encounter in this place, but I don't really know. So the barrel, you're barely even on the water. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything new in here, but there is the, here's the, you know, the little lake cave. Where did that barrel just go? What the hell was that? Yeah, so here's the cavern. Obviously, ain't nobody home. Um, we're pretty much just gonna head to uh, head to the headquarters and go whip some ass. So we got some good old-fashioned grass over here. Is there anything cool that I can get over here? I don't know. Fairly certain that there's just duplicates here, but yeah, that's a sneasel. That's something new. We'll be taking TM14 for Blizzard. All right, that's pretty useful. Thank you. So, next order of business is to go back to um, Veilstone, and then we've got some more galactic stuff to do there. I honestly don't really remember what goes down there, or what this section of the game even contains, but I'm excited. Okay, here we are. So, it looks like a little rinky-dink shack. Yo, wait, I don't have the thing here yet. Just kidding, this is not where we go. Hello? Mighty impressive antenna. You're damn right it is. It's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anybody, anything about any storage key. <laughs> he, just, he just places it right there. Well, that guy's quite quite the help. We'll grab, uh, grab the storage key, and now we can go back to that little shack and hopefully hand deliver an L to whoever's inside. Pretty flawless bicycle riding, if I don't say so myself. Sup. Rust encrusted door is locked. It appears to have a spe new special key. We do, in fact, have the special key. Uh, but the storage key snapped off inside the keyhole. <laughs> That's an interesting detail. We find a dusk stone right there. That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's head on down. See what type of illegal activities are going on in, down here. Hello? I've been with Team Galactic for five years. I haven't gotten a promotion yet. And he <laughs> doesn't even battle. He's... That guy's just sick and tired of it. Music is getting pretty intense. Okay, we got it. We got a we got a fella. Well, what have we here? A trainer who's lost their way? No, not really. This is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Just one Pokemon. Okay, and just like the usual, it's a Golbat. All right. That guy was no obstacle. Um. I always wonder what's inside these crates. You know. Is it more zinc in there? Cause I could, I should just rob this place, take all their items. Hello? You're the first intruder we've had in our headquarters. The first one? This is a great place to continue grinding up Rampardos, who luckily didn't die at that last gym. We did lose a valuable member of the team, AKA Giraffe Rig, but you know, shit happens sometimes. All right, so that guy stinks. What else we got going here? We're just gonna, I'm just covering some ground. So this place looks small on the outside, but it is actually quite large. 
I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault, though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. <laughs> uh, nobody knows how the damn warp panels connect, man. Don't worry. You're not alone. I'm putting Monkey in front. Why not? They're going hard in this music, though. Um, yeah, you know what? I will battle you. I was going to avoid, but we'll battle. We haven't done any warp panel stuff yet, which is nice. The warp panel stuff is just frustrating, but it's got to be included. Every evil, every evil headquarters must have either warp panels or those arrow panels. You know, you step on them and you do the spin stuff. Bad guys do not travel by conventional means. All right, left or right? Right. Ooh, we spinning. And it's just an item, so now we know we're supposed to go left. But if we never went right, we wouldn't have got TM49 for Scald. Look at that. Damn, we've gotten two TMs today. And both of them are pretty damn solid. Very nice. But not reusable, so how do I get more Scalds? I'm, like, afraid to use them. Computer? No. Alright, so there's panel, but also I feel like I'm probably supposed to go this way because this person is blocking this direction. That's a little little secret trick for you. Always go the way that looks most inconvenient, because that's probably the way you're supposed to go. And watch, now it's actually probably not the way you're supposed to. Oh my god, this guy has a wormpole. They've got it they've had to have given this this lad a wormpole as a joke, right? <laughs> He has pressed B 27 plus times. <laughs> hey, what are you looking? You look in the wrong direction. Locked doors are only open with a special key. Now, if it was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you where the key is. But I really don't know. Hmm. Oh, ha what? I was barely even in front of you. How'd you see me? Heck, this guy. All right. So yeah, we cannot continue any further. A special key is in fact needed. So um, I guess we gotta go the other way. Shoot, dang. These are very bright seats. I like these seats. Good good interior designing. <laughs> well designed place in here. Um, okay, so this looks like where I need to be. Huh? Sludge bomb! Yes! Amazing! All the TMs today are just exquisite. And then over here we got a galactic key. Man, they just really don't hide these things, huh? Okay, so this is the door that blocked us before. I will not be blocked again. Galactic key, the door opened. Very cool. So, y'all got like rot. What? Are Ooh, dazzling gleam. Also, wow. I'm da I'm dazzled. And there's literally nothing else to to do in here. That's well, shoot. We did all that for dazzling gleam. <laughs> I think we go now back to where we started. Oh, I think we can take that key, what, to the other, the other side? Yes. That building is specifically just to get the, the freaking, the key, but also a couple good TMs along the way, so, you know, that's fine. So now back to this building. What do y'all got here? Y'all got a door I could shove this baby in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that door? All right. We've done it. These do look like the, sc the scream containers from Monsters, Inc. Um, well, okay, I kind of thought this was going to be a double battle. I didn't realize which way you were looking, person, but okay. But luckily, it's just freaking cocoons you got to fight around here. I do like their sweet G logo. Fresh. Hello? I won't let you disrupt our research. Damn it, I, I just kind of wanted to talk to you about TV. I noticed that this guy was enjoying a nice program on the television, but now he's... He's, he's not a friend. Cadaver goes down to a nice little rock toss. And, uh... It'd be a lot scarier if these guys knew how to trade. Because then they get out get Alakazams and stuff, you know? Alright, so... I reckon we could go in that portal there. Or, hear me out, we could go in one of these portals. I'm gonna go in this one. This portal in particular... Looks enticing. Um... Is this good? Do I want it? Did I? Oh god, now I'm just getting deeper into the place. Okay. Hmm. Well, just gives us a max revive. That's at least good for selling. Get some sweet, sweet money out of that. They really make that whole hallway right here just for no reason. So now, 
I'm gonna go in this one, because I feel like the one in the actual room is a trap. I will not be falling for it, damn it. Oh, just, okay. Turns out this was the trap. Alright, this is apparently the portal. It's always the last one you try, and that's the story of my life. Oh, and there's a bed here, nice. Two beds. For me and my Minecraft GF. We could, put our, we could push our beds right next to each other and make one big bed. Okay. So we healed up, which we didn't really need, but that's okay. And we got a, new, a little double battle. Premarital bed pushing together. <laughs> Crow, gunk, and a stunky. I'm sick and tired of seeing these things. If you're watching on YouTube, you're straight up about to time travel, because I'm going to get through this double battle, and it's gonna, no time's going to pass at all. I told you. Battle's over, and we killed, like, 49 Stunkies and Krogunks, and we're good to go. Alright, so, what else we got going on over here? You guessed it! Just some more portals. I, li I do like the portal sounds, though. It's kind of satisfying. Ooh. Okay, well, it looks like I've gotten to the correct area, but maybe I should go elsewhere first and check out what else there's going on? Am I underleveled? Am I, should I be afraid right now? I don't think... I, I don't know. We're gonna see what's on these other portals, though. Oh, I need the key for... Oh, I need... There's another... Um, I need another key to get in the other place? How many keys are there in this damn area? What? No. Wait, no. Chat lied to me. I have the key. What the hell? <laughs> uh, so I'm in, and... Pretty much ready to party. Hopefully they're nice to me in here. I see, you must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up Team Galactic. Yes, quite foolhardy indeed. Although I'd hardly expect to see that trainer as a mere child. Heard our commander's had a rough time with you. This guy probably doesn't recognize me because I got my winter fit on. Last time we seen him, you know, had the different fit on. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesper, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. No longer have any need for them, I'm finished with them. Your heart aches to save them, go right ahead, I could care less. <laughs> Disposing of them? These Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? Yep, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty nice guy. Pity and compassion are products of weak and lacking human heart. Wait, what? You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sen sentimentality? They hit news with big words I hear. I will make you regret paying head to your heart. Heed to your heart. Head 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 to head to my heart. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first time we actually get to battle our boy Cyrus here. He just went from a child to a fully grown man. Apparently, actually, Cyrus is only like 27 years old. Which is weird, because I'm as old as Cyrus. I'm not nearly as evil and plotting as this guy. Wow, also, look at the freaking galaxies behind here. I don't know why they... I mean, it's kind of cool when you battle Team Galactic, it, it turns into it. The battle scenes like that, but it's still kind of strange. Anyway, he has a level 40 Murkrow, so we're kind of right on par for level here. Um, he goes for the Nightshade, which, you know, at least I, at least I led Rampardos. I don't really even remember this lad's team, so hopefully this goes well. Murkrow just goes down right to a nice little smackaroo. One bird, one stone. There's actually probably some more stones, but, you know. Next is Sneasel. Um, level 43 Sneasel as well. Dynabits is probably a little scared here. Um, what should I do? He's going to pebbles. Dun, 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 dun. I'm bringing in the pebbles. Let's see if this guy's interested in some some fruity pebbles. I don't know what this thing's really gonna do, but Infernape's generally pretty good against the Sneasel, so you know. Hone claws. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Jeez. Okay. All right, we're just gonna give you the old flamethrower here. Monkey out speed. And Hone Claws Sneasel is a little scary, but unless you have, unless you do that, and now, yeah, that, that was easy. What's his last Mon? What do you got? Damn, you look evil, bro. My last Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Golbat. <laughs> really? <laughs> of all things, Golbat. It's not even a Crobat yet. Um, and uh, it's kind of weird. Gyarados is faster, but that rot there is a dead Golbat, and not that bad of a battle. You defeated Team Galactic Boss Cyrus. <laughs> Interesting, and quite curious. Hmm, shallow and pedantic, indeed. Get a whole bunch of money from you, thank you. 
I see, you're indeed strong. In the base of your power is compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful, such emotions are mere illusions. He's like, I just like to, I like to wake up and just be hateful. It's a lot better. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. <laughs> Christ, this guy's a little, a little bit too dark for my taste. That's why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. That doesn't matter. I don't ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you're strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. And we get a master ball. I can't wait to use that on the first Silcoon that I see. I will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. Very nice. Well. That's pretty cool. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. <laughs> right on, guy. Sounds like you gotta work on that, because you just caught the, these hands. Off to Mount Cornet. That's correct, Mount Cornet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and put an end to everything. <laughs> this is just a depressed guy. Like, So I reckon that's pretty much all there is to do here. And so... Never mind. Wait, that's not everything there is to do. We gotta save our homies. Hold, on. <laughs> totally forgot. Look at these rocks. Something suspended in a green fluid. What do you think this is? Finally, green fluid. Um, we gotta free. We gotta. We gotta free the boys. Hey, what are you doing? Can't say anything in our defense. The thing we made, what it's gonna be used for? What did they make? What did they make? Here's the homies. Yuxi is sealed inside, appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Poor fella. Um, I think you have to, do I have to battle you too? Alright. What's up, Saturn? You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. Anyway, you've taken tr the trouble to come in, let me welcome you. Consider it payback? You're insulting me at the lake. So we, ju we pretty much just battled Saturn, but I guess we'll have to teach him another lesson. You have the same same Pokemon here. Lead Kadabra. Okay. <laughs> Goes for the Reflect. Yeah. Okay. We we definitely. So this is the, they got the Toxic Croak. Um. So assuming they're probably gonna go for the Rain Dance here again, what I can do is I can prepare myself for the Toxic Croak to come in after they go for the Rain Dance here and switch into Frosted Flake, but that's kind of risky. And I'm just not going to do that, so I'm just going to click Assurance again. <laughs> yeah, so there's the Rain Dance. Um, we actually, we unfortunately do not have the Giraffe Rig to take out the Cro the Toxic Croak like I did before. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. But Kadabra taken care of. Very nice. And I should probably switch. That's why I kind of wanted to get Rampardos out of here. Hmm. Yeah, there's the Toxic Croak. So... So I think that Toxic, or, uh, I think that Chromat's probably a good switch in here. I don't imagine, I don't imagine this thing has much to, uh, to do to Frosted Flake. Just goes for the Toxic. Get freaking predicted, guy. This, they're actually doing the same exact set of moves they did the last time. Because the Toxic, the Giraffe before, uh, Air Cutter, nice little two-hit KO here, and Thief. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It soaks up some of that sweet, sweet moisture, which is actually annoying. You get kind of quite, quite a lot from that. And that right there is a dead Toxicroak. Okay, and then there's the Bronzor. Um, so, we'll probably just get on out of here. And I reckon that'll do it. So. See you later, Saturn. You're tough, kid, but I still pity the likes of you. Do you? But why? Can you free the freaking... The Pixies now? What makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Okay. Uh, this button? This, like, this turns out to actually be the self-destruct button. It kills them all. We will press the button, set the Pokemon free. Hopefully they recognize that I just ho hooked him up. No, they didn't even look at me. They're just like, thanks, see ya. Didn't even say thanks. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. The red chain is what we needed to shackle something on Mount Cornet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. Well, that's a little scary. Um, and so, yeah, we're essentially done now. Now, officially, there's nothing left to do in this place, I don't think. I gotta get all the way out of here. Do I have to just run all the way out of here? 
Oh, green portal. I know where I've seen a green portal before. Yay! That's why you can't go in that one. <laughs> I can still get the gibble, that is true. You know what? We've decided quick intermission. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get the gibble from um from you know the place because the only encounters in there are I think like Onyx and Gibble. We already have Onyx. And so let's go get ourselves a Gibble. Alright, so here we are, under the bridge, like a little troll, and you go in this way, and then boom! We got Gibbles and stuff, but we have to use Strength, so we couldn't actually get the Gibbles here before. So, now we can Strength, and we will need to use Flash as well. Is that, that's not a... Oh, it's really annoying that I can't do it on there, huh? Oh, we just go right to the left, and it allows us to go down here. This is where the Gibbles are, I think. Right? There's also other stuff down here. Um, there's like a bunch of sweet jumps and stuff, I remember. First encounter was actually a Bronzor. And so, that's not a Gibble. I thought there wasn't anything else other than, man! Honestly, Bronzong is pretty sweet though. All right, we're taking it. This one is Chex. I don't think we have Chex yet. So there we go. He's totally a Chex. Um, and cool. Let's add this thing to the party for just a little bit here. Because um, I want to check out... Maybe even... Maybe we leave it on the squad and let this thing get some experience share for a while. Because I actually do like this mod. Ooh, it's adamant nature, which is eh, not super ideal. It's heat proof. Oh, this thing's all fucked up, but I guess, yeah, that's cool. Super speed. Oh, now it's dark. But we've got TM26 for earthquake. Nice. Finally, we can shake the ground. But it's not reusable, so I'm probably going to hang on to that until before the Elite Four. Because if something I teach it to something and then they die, I am big sad. All right, we're in the cave. We're back. We're, 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 we're sticking to the mission this time, boys. Now, I think with this section here, we're supposed to do the rock climb thing, right? Wait, I've gone, I've gone the wrong way. I need to surf across there. Shoot. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Cleffa! Guaranteed this item is useless. Never mind, it's a protein. That's quite useful, okay. We're gonna have a bunch of drugs to buff, off our, buff up our Pokemon at the end. I've seen a lot of people struggle on this section. You almost have to use the D-pad there so you don't accidentally hop down that ledge. It's very frustrating, but... I do it first try because I'm kind of like, you know, a professional. Now we can go up yonder. And we basically are just gonna try to, I guess, make our way through Mount Qu I don't remember how far you even have to go. Uh, but with repels, it's pretty nice, so we don't have to worry too bad. I do like the Mount Cornet music. Escape rope! They say you're gonna need this. To escape death. Um, there's a lot of different ways to go. Hello? Thank you. Oh! Di I accidentally hopped. <laughs> they got me. Oh, but see? That was actually a blessing because I wouldn't have checked that rock for an either. Nice. <laughs> Get a little stretch and we're continuing. I feel like I missed some items down there south, but that's fine. Uh, we are faced here with a decision. Do I go up or do I go right? I'm gonna go right, even though I feel like that's probably not the right direction. We're just gonna see what's popping down here. There's gotta be something, right? Yep, just a max revive. All right. We will be taking that, not checking any other rocks, and we go up. Hello? We grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One, to ensure the success of our operation at the summit, and two, to utterly destroy anyone who dares interfere. Utterly destroy, and then she's about to bust out a fucking wormhole at level 45. Utterly. You guys know what you call a cow that jumps over a barbed wire fence? Utter destruction. <laughs> I've, I've used that joke many a times here on Twitch, but it never gets old. 
Beautifly just gets absolutely rocked. Get it? God damn it, I am on one tonight. You guys literally just had three legendary Pokemon, and then they're like, no, we let those go. We, we, only, we only like bug types around here. I probably do need some more levels here, so we're going to definitely battle some folks. Just to, just to pad the team a little bit. Yuxi died to struggle. No. Alright, what else is going on over here? You can always tell you're going the right direction, judging by the the uh, the saturation of galactic people. Um, we're going to go the grass way, and we can rock climb up this way. I can't tell you how many times I've done this journey up Mount Cornet, and every time, I, I don't know where the hell I'm going. But that's part of the fun. We can go in there. We can go up here again. Cats and said left. Oh, hold on. There's something here. It's a nugget! Nice. Well, that made it worthwhile. Oh. Damn, a choke. What are you doing out here? Okay, we're gonna go left instead. Um, we got a strength thing, so that's probably a good indication that we should, we should push that. Also, how come we can push these rocks, but not these rocks? These rocks are unpushable. They're, they're really rooted in there, I guess. And it's definitely... It would actually be pretty hilarious if they did this rock here and then just didn't even put an item on it. But there's a max potion. We'll take it. This right here looks like a good, a, a good place to go in, I guess. And we're just really putting these uh, the barrels to work today. We got them swimming. We got them climbing, smashing, pushing, doing all the... All the stuff. I will battle you. You're optional, but I am going to battle you. Alright, just whip that guy's ass on the quickness. Can't avoid you. How many people do the do Cyrus got working for him? Damn. Continuing, what have we here? No hidden item. That upsets me. But I think we're going the right direction. Oh, and I forgot to spray a thing. Damn, the music is going hard again, though. Somebody stop him. Okay, so a bunch of smash rocks. I almost want to just tidy up this place. Just doing my duty. Just making sure the hiking trail is a cleaner cleaner place. Okay, this is looking this is looking familiar. I remember this. I remember this hole. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here though, because I think there's something for us. Um I think I wanna go in this cave, yes? This looks like a nice nice place to enter. Nice. Nice moist cave. Mm, quite moist in here indeed. Oh, yep. Got some more Galactic folks. Team Galactic rocking the pussy. That's that's for true. Thank you for your money. I do I do admire that they are very honorable and they, they make sure to pay you every time you you beat them. Of course. Team Galactic will control take control of everything. You can try all you want, but you can't do anything alone. Well. They always talk a big game, and then he's like, check out this, this butterfly. Hello? Am I at the place yet? I feel like this is the longest freaking... God, they really did make Cornet, like, a third of all Sinnoh. Send you packing with only that happy thought. Okay, I didn't read the beginning part of that, so I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, please tell me that this is... Yes, this is it. Have I done it? Spear Pillar, boys! Alright. The music is all sorts of intense. There's, there's, there's pillars. And I think I have to battle these goons. Something huge is gonna happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, going to aren't you? Oh, we sure are. God, I, what makes you think that these guys are gonna stop me? I've, I've defeated all of the other lads you sent. This time it's a double battle, though, and we know I tend to hack things up in double battles, but you guys did just did some more things that we they always have, so it should be no issue. Let's see, Thunderbolt and Headbutt should kill it. There was a night we really popped off on the subtrain. Truly. That was actually insane. <laughs> Haven't seen robots in forever. Oh, the movie Robots? I was like, what? 48 Weavile? That's his levels? Holy shit. So, what I should do is probably not bring this little bronzor, and instead, bring my starter. Okay, so we get we get healed by Barry up here. We're just gonna 
What up? It's the Power Rangers. They're gonna do their sweet little entrance dance. What's up, boss? Now all will end and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me, Dialga, the mythical Pokemon, the master of time. Damn, we just see in Dialga right now. This is intense. We're gonna ponder this orb real quick. Big ol' sky vagina, and look who it is. He's chained up though, poor guy. Yo, he actually be looking pretty sick. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everyone gone, everything gone, there'll be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. I wish that I wish that they had like the distortion world in this though. Oh, it's Valley Windworks. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh, Dialga, the ancient freaking god of time. This guy is the god of time. He hits us with a googie wiggie baba. World cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than change this one. The new world in which I'm the rule of all things, I shall become a deity. Alright, alright. Um... <laughs> I wanted to run away. Well, I guess that I should heal. It was actually pretty unsafe just not healing before. Do I battle the others first? I think I do, right? No need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember, and I'll be next. It might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Man, they really make you battle all these people? Oh, shit, Barry's here. <laughs> Don't you start the party without me. Little boy who ran crying at the lake. Okay, did you get tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. They really make you battle these people all just so many times in a row. Alright, so we're battling with Barry. This is actually, I prefer to not battle with freaking Barry, but two Bronzors. Okay, it'd be a little more frightening if they were evolved. He goes with his Munchlax. Now, I really wish that you had done maybe something that wasn't just the Munchlax, but it's okay. I'll go for the insurance on that one. Only level 41, so we should be okay here. The worst part about these double battles is when they, they just double attack you. Like, if I get extra sensory up by both of them, it's gonna slowly start to be annoying. Oh, reflect? Okay. They're using the Bronzor correctly for that support. Munchlax does have bite, though. Very nice. Now we'll go for the assurance, kill this one. And. That's pretty much my strategy, is, you know, just. I think if. I think if what I can do here is if I can inflict more damage on their Pokemon than they do to mine. I think we'll probably be okay here. Thank you for not confusing me, Mr. Coin. I, I truly appreciate you. He confused, and of course he hits himself. Dumbass Munchlax, come on, man. All right, next is Golbat. So Reflect is up, let's remember that, but I'm just gonna go for a nice little Rock Tomb here on Golbat. Also, I really wish that Rampardos would learn a better freaking Rock move. We do hit, luckily. Doesn't quite kill it because of that reflect. And the speed drops. Oh! Golbat does have Giga Drain! Okay. That's always what I worry about with Golbats. I mean, it's never gonna, like, kill me in one hit, but... It's at least not ideal. Um... Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, down to bits. We put you in harm's way there, here, for a second, but we're good. And Munchlax hits itself again. Why is Barry always so damn useless? Dynabits is dozing off, he's ready to take the long sleep, and now I pretty much have to switch. So, I could imagine that they're probably going to go for the drain on, on that slot again, so I could go into... Hmm. I might even just go into, like, Frosted Flake, save pebbles. I don't know. No, because the extra sensory. Yeah. I'm going to go into Gyarados for now. Let's see. Imagine if Confusion on double battles let them attack the ally. <laughs> that would really suck. Let's get the Intimidate on the Golbat here. It does just go for the Giga Drain. That is neutral on Gyarados, but it shouldn't do much. Yeah. This little non-stab drain. Psh. Reflect should be wearing off soon. we got to kill that Bronzer before the Reflect wears off, so that way... Um, you know, it doesn't end up getting it up again. Please don't hit yourself here, Munchlax. Yeah! <laughs> Alright! 
Atta boy! Cool. So, I think I am just gonna go ahead and crunch the coin over here, take care of that thing. It's probably actually a better strategy to get rid of the Pokemon on the left first. But, whatever. We're getting rid of that thing. No more Bronzor. Dynabits to 45. There you go, little buddy. You're not going to be using the rest of this battle because you're kind of hurt. Golbat hazes. It went for that, I think, just because of the Intimidate. So now it's back to normal. Uh, much like to get the Body Slam off here. Okay. Big boy damage. Doesn't knock it out. Damn it. That damn reflect, it would have been dead. So next is the Perugly. Um, I actually do kind of wish that I had switched in Gyarados on that thing. But with the Golbat paralyzed here, man, I don't know. Do we just double this Perugly? Please don't double me and slash crit me or something. I'm going to go for a nice little waterfall on the Perugly. It does body slam, so it actually doesn't slash anymore. Thank you very much for attacking Barry. That thick Munchlax. Here we get the waterfall off, doing some big damage. But it's always got a fucking citrus spray. This fat cat never stops eating food. Joe fat ass. Go that sludge bomb. Don't poison me. Thank you. Just a little body slam off. Very nice. Takes care of the gold bat. Hey, we're actually working as a pretty good team here, boy. Pretty solid team. I should have probably brought my Luxray. I kind of forgot about that little guy. Next is Skontax. Here's both of their aces. Um. I think I'm. It's kind of risky staying in here. If they double me, it could be bad. I'm just going to go for the waterfall on the Perugly here. Again, I probably should have saved Gyarados Intimidate for the Perugly. It takes care of the Munchlax stamp. Well, it's honestly fine. Now we can. What else does he bring in? Is he going to starter? Crit, please. Damn it. Poison gas? This gun tank just farts on us. And now I'm sick. Thanks. Real nice of you. Uh, what does Barry have for us here? Staraptor. Nice. Okay, so Staraptor should just be able to take care, hopefully, of uh, the damn kitty. Also, the Intimidate's really nice. Thank you. See, Barry, Barry's been practicing. Good job, buddy. I'm going to switch Gyarados out because I don't want this thing to die. And but what is going to happen here? Who's got the highest defense to come in on this? Um... Crobat honestly doesn't seem like too bad of an idea. We'll go into we'll go into Crobat here, the big bat, and imagining probably he body slams on my slot. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Quick attack. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Little priority action. Very good. And just another poison gas, which obviously doesn't affect me, so that's fine. And it looks like we got this got this handled. They still have one more. Saturn still has... Uh, Mars still has one more Pokemon, right? Yeah, it's just a gold bat. Okay. So we'll let Staraptor do whatever he wants to freaking do. I'm going to air cutter this gun tank. Get some, get some damage on both of them. How about that? Frosted Flake is a double battle legend. Even though it does, you know, nothing. We get a crit on the gold bat, though. <laughs> Close combat... Why do you do this? Now you drop your defenses. How many mods does Barry have, by the way? Does he just have three? Like, did he bring his full team? I don't know. Oh god. He just Not only did you drop your defense, you just knocked it right to range. So he does come with his full team of six. Okay. Poison Fang. Man, they really just <laughs> teaming up on my guy. There's a flamethrower probably on me. Yep. Alright, that's fine. Belch! Oh god, he burping. Damn. Imagine getting taken out by a belch. That's got to be a pretty rancid, rancid one there. Now he goes into his Ponyta. Okay. So, I think we're pretty safe here. Air Cutter will take out the Gold Bat, and then it's just us and Skun Tank, and then that's it. Easy. So now we just get the single damage off onto this thing, and that'll take care of it. Very good. We did not lose a Pokemon there. We're pretty pretty appropriately leveled for this, which I'm, I'm happy about. It's nice to not be extremely overleveled. So. Very nice. Levels for the gang. There you go, Wheaties. And uh, how many times do I have to teach these old ladies this freaking lesson? You've toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. I already whipped your boss's ass too. I ain't afraid of him. I ain't afraid. My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher, but you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. I'll help you with this, Hayden. All right, thank you, Barry. So he gets us a heal. And um, 
Oh god, now it's just us. Now Cyrus should be a little scarier. Look at this dude. This is intense. Oh god. I feel like we gotta enjoy this with just... Just full cinematics. We ain't done yet. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's the creation of the new... I, I still can't take this guy seriously with his... With this model. To be honest. What? What's, ha what's happening? Oh! It's the boys! <laughs> Yuxi comes and they're like, Hey, we're gonna whip your ass for what you did to us in that green stuff. And then there's Mesprit. And then we have... Bezelf. No, oh, sorry. It's Azelf, not Bezelf. <laughs> they do a little TikTok dance. And... Unleash the guy. Dialga Unchained. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Just standing here with my cool bag under my arm saying, What in the hell? Yo, Mesprit says... No, no, never mind. He doesn't say nothing. I thought he might dap me up for one time or something, but... The red chain, it crumbled away to nothing? But Why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? Never mind that, it's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone, I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I even think about that, I'm gonna completely crush you. Uh, I really, I really hope that I'm ready for this. Oh god, he's just, <laughs> he's just so angry. Most angry Cyrus ever. <laughs> Alright. Time for big boss battle. Um, so he's got four Pokemon. And he should be higher level than us. It's Honchkrow, so in like 30 minutes he's evolved his Murkrow to Honchkrow. Um, I think we should be still good here leaving Rampardos. Hopefully. Luckily we had this guy in front. Level 45? Okay. Hopefully. Do not miss this Rock Tomb. Nice. One of your more important Rock Tombs. <laughs> it just kills it. Oh, uh, with a crit. Nice. Rampardos is the goat. There's Oko in that thing. Does get us to 46 here. Pebbles to 44. We do need all the levels we can get now at this point. Next is Gyarados. All right. We prefer to not have this matchup. I mean, you know, if you switched into my rock, that'd be nice. But yeah, Dynamis seems a little worried because you should be. I'm going to switch into my own Gyarados. And the good thing about my Gyarados is it does a good job at defeating its own kind. Because mine has Thunderbolts. <laughs> Which I haven't really had a need to switch around for anything because there's no other really moves that I've learned or anything so we switch into the waterfall here we get the intimidate which is nice waterfall does nothing and now he's I'm about to hit him hit him with the the surprise t-bolt you ain't even see this coming oh he did see it coming he has the freaking uh, whatever the berry the electric berry so he takes no damage from that um, Wakan berry was used up and now he crunches but you're intimidated so um, Actually, doesn't really matter because one Thunderbolt wouldn't have killed it anyway. We'll give her another try. It does live that one as well. Um, and luckily, though, that we can still go for one more here. So, I don't know if he potions. Do you heal? He does heal. Freaking Cyrus, you coward. He's not even doing a hardcore Nuzlocke. But. But why? Alright. So, this is actually... Gyarados turns out to be a pretty good counter to Gyarados. <laughs> Unless they also have Thunderbolt. But that takes care of it. So, two down, two to go. We're looking pretty safe here. Don't know if I'll need Gyarados for the rest of this battle. We'll probably be okay. Uh, and then in comes Crobat. I, I could have gone for Dragon Dances there. Which actually, yeah, setting up on his ass probably would have been a good idea. I just didn't want to risk getting crit. Like, I generally tried to play it safe there. Should have definitely bought, brought Luxray. That would have been in my best interest for certain. Um, I could probably hard switch into Rampardos here on on this thing, but nothing really wants to come in on this, to be honest. I think I go into this. Hard switching into Rampardos is always a risky maneuver, but he's probably going to, what, like cross poison? I don't know. What do you do here? Break your mold. Tailwind, actually. All right, well, you were, I mean, you were faster than everything anyway, but... Also, he's done, a, he's done a good job of evolving all of his stuff since the last battle. Let's go for... Just a rock tomb here, and did it... What? What was that? Oh, my God. Tailwind and Quick Claw? 
How fast do you want this crowbat to be? <laughs> no, it does U-turn though. Shit. That's not good. Uh, okay, but Weavile, I mean... He's literally evolved everything. Weavile doesn't prefer to come into a rock tomb. Level 48 Weavile just gets absolutely smacked. Good U-turn play there, guy. Honestly, that could be really scary. Weavile behind it. Tailwind can hit really hard. Um, but that takes care of it, so... Now it's just us and this here Crobat. I do not believe it has anything that can kill us at this point, so we just go ahead and throw some more rocks. Quick Claw activation, absolutely unnecessary. I should put, I have a Quick Claw of my own. I need to actually put that on. Rampardos could have benefited from that as well. Well, does this kill you? Oh, almost. Rampardos is truly turning into the MVP here. He says, oh shit, what happened to my eyebrows? Super Potion now. He only had one full restore and now opts for the Super Potion. Damn, Cyrus, you broke. We've hit all of our Rock Tombs. Perfect. Now Dialga is about to absolutely eat this guy. But not us, because we're a friend. Alright, we get to level 47 there. 45, and it actually wasn't too bad. I was kind of worried about that battle, but, you know, we're good. I won't accept this. The power of, the power spoken in, of in mythology. Uh, I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own. Okay. What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing? What shines the brightest? I'm telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. Okay. He's... Man. So now it's just me and... Me and the, the guy. Oh, just kidding. The whole squad's here. Dialga, the master of time, it's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Hayden. Seems to be challenging you to a test. Go on, Hayden, face up to a Dialga, listen to its heart, understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out of the red chain, by the red chain, forced to use its power. Seems to be trusting you to stop it. I honestly am getting back the feelings of when I initially first played Pokemon Pearl as just a wee little lad. And like, seeing the legendary Pokemon without ever even knowing what they were, like, the experience of playing these games for the first time with like having no prior knowledge and being like, alright, now you go catch this thing. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, well that's cool. Um, we, we have a Master Ball and I'm just going to use it because I don't want to risk anything, <laughs> anything like dying, so. Dialga, what's happened? He's been standing there so politely this whole time. Yo, this is a sick... My god, that was dope. This is a super cool battle environment. Look at this battle environment. Damn. What the hell happened to the sky? Should I throw a quick ball? <laughs> and just let it attack me? This actually looks sick. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Master Ball it. <laughs> we do not risk it around here. It would be nice to save the Master Ball, but whatever. Nice. Dialga is mine. So, obviously we're not gonna be using Dialga on the Nuzlocke, but, you know, it's nice to catch him. How cool would that have been if that was shiny? I still wait for the one day where I don't have to like reset reset for a, a hunt and it just comes up shiny as like a starter or something. It has the power to control time. It appears in center region myths as an ancient oh, it's an ancient deity. Nice. Well, I'm not gonna give you a nickname to signify that you're just gonna stay in the box. You do not belong on the serial squad, but still cool. I don't know how you... You were magnificent. He's like, the way you threw that one Pokeball in one turn was absolutely insane. <laughs> Since the last time the professor did a lot of research, he became very concerned about you, Hayden. Came out to a place as treacherous as this. Really, as an old guy climbing up this freaking mountain, I'm concerned. Oh, we just leave him here, too. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. You're damn right, Rowan. Spitting. Would you like to use another one? No. Repelled is not a good time. Um... Gang, we've done it. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. 
And uh, leave a comment as well. I like interacting with you guys in the comment section. Thank you for all the support. See you later. Oh, there is an adamant orb over here as well. We, we take the adamant orb. Now we're gone.